Hey everyone, this is MC. In this video, I'm going to do a low fade with a pompadour. Uh, it's quite an interesting video. Also, I'm going to uh, taper or blend. Instead of using a razor, I'm going to use a 4420 blending shears. Uh, uh, it's something I haven't done much, but just to show you a different way to uh, kind of uh, blend and uh, work on your fade there a little bit um, so as usually if you can see here I section the top off and then uh, <clears throat> I am going here to uh, remove the bulk of the hair and start uh, my fade create a foundation for my fade uh, questions I get a lot of questions what clipper is this uh, this is uh, Aster uh, Octane Pro it's a heavy duty clipper with detachable blades. Um, it's uh, my favorite clipper from heavy duty clippers. It does take the same blades as, Ox um, as Aster Classic 76 or uh, the ZR or whatever it is from Andy's that they have. Uh, it's, uh, they are, the, all the blades are kind of universal really for these. It has very nice ergonomics. It's slightly loud, but really everything else is kind of good. And the price range is about 250 for that clipper. So once we uh, get that done, we I remove the, the weight, uh, the bulk of the hair. I created a foundation for a low fade. Now I'm starting my fade and I'm using uh, Slimline Pro edges. My edges are um, zero gap so they get very close uh, basically this is as close as you can get with uh, with a machine with any clipper uh, and I'm gonna keep this very low I wanna do this uh, very low fade it's slightly difficult uh, to do this type of fade especially in the type of the texture of the hair the shape of the head uh, and low fade so you could find uh, slight difficulties so once my uh, fade was started, that was the first outline uh, that I created. I started from uh, really zero. Uh, now uh, using my magic clips, uh, they are by wool. Uh, I uh, really, as you can see, you can start with an open blade uh, and just fade into, you know, uh, half. Now I'm using one with an open blade and then work myself down and meet that half, which is quite simple. Really, this is a very simple way to fade. You do one and a half first, then you start your fade. Uh, in this case, we did zero. Uh, and then using one, uh, fading down. Now I'm using half, half guard. Wool makes that half guard. It really is a excellent guard for fading uh, really I don't know if any other company has something similar to it uh, since I use wool uh, clips clippers for fading so it's really a nice uh, guard they created there and then once that is done uh, pretty much your fade is done I see that the uh, wall seniors cordless are out, uh, but they are still not out here in USA, as I understand they are. Right now they have them in UK. To be honest, I can't wait to see those. Uh, I've been using these magic uh, clips for the last, I believe, three years since they came out. And they've been excellent, actually, very good. But it's time for me to update my uh, tools, and really I can't wait for the wall uh, seniors to get them in my hands. So I'm keeping this very low fade. I'm not actually going high. It's slightly more difficult to fade uh, when you do low fades uh, than a high fade or medium fade because you have a short span in which you have to uh, fade. You have to make that transition from very, very short to very long. So really this is uh, the best way to fade here is actually from top down. 
So one side, you, you do one and a half, and you create your base for a haircut, remove the bulk, and also create a base for your fade. Then you can start your fade with whatever you want it is, like I did in this case with uh, really, you know, zero, because my uh, edges are uh, gap to zero. And then I uh, work my way down, so that way my fade stays low, it doesn't go high. As more and more, uh, I think, haircuts these days are being done with a low fade and very long top. So here is what I was talking about. I could have used a straight edge razor for this, but uh, I decided to use here uh, blending shears. The shear I use is an old barber shear. I recently got it, actually. It's called 4420. This is, they say, one of the best blending shears you can get. And the shear actually is pretty cheap. It's only, uh, I believe, 89 bucks. In any case, it's under under $100. Uh, it's called 4420. The only thing is that the shear is slightly bulky. And it's not really made from the best uh, material. So it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it almost already is kind of getting dark and... Uh, I think it would the shear get uh, you know rusts fast, but the the reason that the, the shear is good because it has 44 teeth, that that's why it's called 4420. I actually got to talk to someone and see if we can make the shear slightly thinner and uh, a higher quality and have better ergonomics, because this shear is very very old shear, uh, so, but still it's a good design. Uh, so once that is done, you can always go back with your clipper. And at least I'm making these videos really as they are happening in the barber shop. These are the type of situations you're gonna come across in the barber shop where you have to go back and touch up. Uh, I'm not making these videos where I edit, uh, you know, like certain parts that I don't want you to see or stuff like that. So uh, you know, this is the type of when you go um, into barbering, when you go actually. As I understand, a lot of students watch my videos, so I want to let you know that when you go in the real world, I would say, these are the type of things that you encounter, and you need to learn how to deal with them. So sometimes, you simply have to go back and kind of, you know, touch up where you think you missed, and so on and so forth. And also, I have a mirror on the right behind me, so that's why I'm not uh, turning my client around to check in the mirror. A lot of barbers are just visual, other ones like to look back in the mirror and see, you know, if they need to touch up the fade or so on and so, so forth. So right behind me, I have a big mirror that usually I look back and see if my fade is okay or not, and if I have to, you know, touch it up. Now for the top here, I actually am, uh, uh, I am uh, just uh, kind of creating texture. He has fine hair. We want to keep the length. So I'm not going to really uh, remove any length, but I'm creating texture. When you have a long hair like this, and you don't have any texture in it, the, the hair tends to just fall flat. No matter how much product you put in the hair, it just like collapses, you know? I mean, you might, when you style it, it might hold for a little bit, but it just collapses, it just falls flat. Uh, what this does, it creates a texture and makes volume uh, and it's a lot easier to maintain you know a long style and uh, products long a lot holder I mean uh, hold a lot longer excuse me here on the last section I'm just gonna towards the end touch it up a little bit really I'm not gonna do much on the front I don't want any short hair short hairs to stick out uh, so I kept the top really as long as it is uh, now I am uh, going to shape up, I'm not going to, uh, we are growing the front, so the old shape up line is actually, we are growing, it's about one inch uh, long there, the hair, we're not going to cut that, we're going to actually leave it to grow, so I'm just going to clean uh, the natural hairline, I'm not going to touch any uh, hair that's actually growing, as you can see on the, on the left side there. The razor I'm using, it's Turkish razor Selef. 
it really it's a very nice design i love this razor it's very thin uh and you can see it you can see the blade it's really nice razor for shape ups it has open blade uh open tip on the blade uh the only problem with this razor is like made with really poor quality i mean usually i go to three three four of these a year uh, because they just don't last it's a cheap razor it's like 10 bucks but it just doesn't last and it gets loose too fast that the handle and the blade holder are really just gets loose so but the design of it is very good so we are actually trying right now to actually make a good quality of this razor so uh, uh, shortly I hope within a week or so I will have a new razor and we'll see how it looks all right guys there is this is your haircut thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like my video put, put thumbs up uh, and until next time take care of yourself again please don't forget subscribe to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for seminars that are coming up thanks a lot take care bye bye